GCSE Economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. Today's video will be about the sectors of the economy. In economics, we talk about three sectors of the economy, the primary sector, secondary sector, and tertiary sector. The primary sector is made up of all those businesses that deal directly with natural resources. That is, the things that come from the factor of production known as land. This includes agriculture, fishing, forestry, mining, oil and gas extraction, and quarrying. Produce from this sector is either directly consumed, such as when people buy and consume fruit and vegetables, or it's used as an input to production, such as when the same fruit and vegetables are purchased by a restaurant or a company that produces ready meals. The secondary sector is made up of businesses that manufacture goods and those involved in construction. They use inputs from both the primary and secondary sectors. This is because the output of one secondary sector business may be an input for another. Most smartphones, for instance, are made up of specialist parts produced by completely different companies and combined together by the maker of the phone. The output from the secondary sector is likely to be sold by retailers in the tertiary sector. The tertiary sector involves all those businesses that provide a service. This includes a wide range of activities, including things like retail, tourism, transport, health and beauty, entertainment, and finance. In the course of providing their service, businesses may consume goods from the primary, secondary, or even the tertiary sector, because businesses provide services to each other as well. Businesses in the tertiary sector may also provide their services for individuals or for the government. The government itself provides some services, such as education and health. The UK, like most developed economies, has seen a big trend away from primary and secondary sectors to the tertiary sector. In 2016, more than three quarters of workers were employed in the tertiary sector. That compares to about half of workers in 1950. There had also been big losses in manufacturing and agriculture between 1950 and 2016. That brings us to the end of our video on sectors of the economy. I've been Mr. Goff for MrGoff.com. I hope you'll join us again soon for some videos on specialisation. Bye for now.